Hello and welcome back to my channel. Now, are you guys ready for the most exciting video you will ever see in your life on making the bed? Granted, I probably don't have a lot of competition, but just let me have this. So I'm not just showing you how to make the bed. I'm showing you how to make your bed like they do at luxury hotels. So you could bring some of that luxury into your own house because let's be real none of us are really traveling much these days so we're going to bring the hotel vibe into our own house not only that i'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite bed making hacks and tricks along the way and just for fun i'm going to share how you can do all of this on a budget because everything that's on my bed i got for a amazing price and everything feels a lot more expensive than it is now really quickly before we get started make sure you are subscribed to my channel and following me over on instagram at Vassar Beauty because on November 15th, I am picking one person to win a $1,000 staycation. It is an international giveaway and I'm announcing the winner over on my Instagram stories. So make sure you are watching me on my stories in case you're the winner, you don't wanna miss it. So with all of that said, let's go ahead and make the bed. Now I'm a rapper. Now step one, get your bed completely naked. Remove it all, strip it down, and then put on your mattress protector. This is absolutely essential. It protects your mattress from water, dust mites, and allergens. But crazy fact, if you don't have a mattress protector on over five to 10 years, your mattress will actually double in weight from all of the dust and allergens that get into it. It's kind of nasty when you think about it. So just make sure you cover it up. Next, we are moving on to sheets. So a couple things I wanna say. So if you wash and dry your sheets and you notice they're all wrinkled, it happens all the time with sheets. A little trick you can do is get a washcloth fully saturated with water, put your sheets back in the dryer with the wet washcloth, run it for about 20 minutes. And what's gonna happen is the water from that washcloth is going to turn into steam and de-wrinkle your sheets. And I also really wanna recommend these sheets I found because I had done a video on the top rated products of all time on Amazon. These sheets were on there. They are insane quality for an amazing price. And I like to go with white sheets now because I just wash them in hot water with OxyClean and it takes out almost any stain, so yes absolutely love these sheets you're going to start with your fitted sheet now for putting on your fitted sheet a little hack that is going to blow your mind i have used this for years if you want to know which corner your sheet goes in find the tag and this is going to go on the bottom right corner of your bed if you're facing your bed the bottom right corner matches with the tag it works for all sheets in my experience so try it out So now we're moving on to our flat sheet. And what you wanna do here is put the flat sheet on face down. So if there's a pattern on here or some kind of a design, I don't know if you can see or if the camera's gonna pick it up, but these actually have a very subtle white pinstripe on them. You want to put that side face down on the bed. That's because later we're going to flip it and you want that patterned or nice side to be facing up eventually. So you just want to lay this on the bed face down and get it nice and centered around all the edges of the bed. You just wanna hang it off both sides equally. I line up the top edge to the top of the bed and then any overhang, you tuck in the foot of the bed. So the fitted sheet is on upside down. Next up is your blanket or quilt and you wanna lay this on facing up. So once your blanket is on the bed, you wanna take the flat sheet and blanket and fold it back about a quarter of the way down the bed. This is why we had the flat sheet on face down because when you flip it back over, the pretty side is facing up. Now is the moment we have all been waiting for. We're gonna get these corners nice and crispy and tucked and pristine looking. That is what takes an amateur bed to a hotel luxury status bed. So it's called a hospital fold, it sounds and looks more complicated than it is. I promise you, once you get the hang of it, really easy. First thing you do is tuck the blanket and sheet underneath the base of the bed or the foot of the bed. So you're gonna be left over here with this overhang. So you wanna pull up this overhang onto the bed at a 45 degree angle. Then take what's left over down here and tuck it under. Then when you pull this back down, you're gonna have that beautiful crisp edge. 
and then continue to tuck your blanket and fitted sheet underneath the mattress. Let's do it again on this side in case you missed it. Get your overhang and put it at a 45 degree angle on the top of the bed. Tuck the bottom and then tuck the top and that's it. It's just three tucks and you're done. And let's just take a moment to appreciate those edges. Okay, we are almost done. Next here, I like to put the duvet on the foot of the bed folded in two thirds. Actually, I will say this, I don't mess with duvets anymore. It just caused me too much trouble dealing with putting the cover on and off. So I switched to comforters. They're washable, they're so much easier. I found this gorgeous comforter set at Target. It's the Nate Burkus line and they're having a big sale right now on bedding. So I don't have to deal with getting the cover on and off. And yes, I do have a little trick for how to do it, which I will show you just in case you're still on team duvet. But regardless, whatever you use, whether it be a comforter or a duvet, I like to fold it into thirds on the foot of the bed. You also can fully cover the bed with it, just depending on your style. It's, to me, it looks nice and cozy and plush on the foot. So I'm popping in here to show you a little hack for how to put your duvet cover on easier because I know a lot of people do prefer the duvet and down comforter. And if that's your style, I've got you because this is gonna make your life a whole lot easier. First thing you wanna do is take your duvet cover and flip it inside out with the opening at the foot of your bed. Then take your down comforter and align it corner to corner with your duvet cover. Now I call this the duvet burrito method because that's basically what we're gonna do here. You start at the head of your bed, you take the duvet and the cover and you roll it up like a burrito. Once you get to the end, you wanna reach your hand inside of the duvet cover and pull it around the side of your burrito and then go ahead and do that on the other side. So again, you reach your hand inside of the duvet cover and wrap it. So once you're fully wrapped, this is where the magic happens. I don't know how it works. It's science, okay? You just, Unroll. And somehow your duvet cover is magically on. It's amazing and so much easier. So this should save you a lot of time. And then all you need to do if you are using this is you just fold it over one or two times on the foot of your bed. And the last element of our perfectly made bed are pillows. Hot tip on pillows. First of all, just like with our mattress, you always want to use a pillow protector. I learned this the hard way with a newborn baby and projectile vomit. You wanna get a protector for your pillows that is waterproof. It also will help prevent any you know, dust mites from getting in there and being all nasty by your face. Other hot tip, these pillows from Amazon are unfreaking believable and I will tell you why. These pillows, I got for $100 each from Brooklinen, okay? I made an impulse buy. They are incredible, they're amazing, but guess what? They feel almost identical to these pillows, which I believe a two pack is $40. I don't know how it's possible, but they feel the same. So anyway, just had to mention that because I now really regret wasting money on these expensive pillows. Like who spends $100 on a pillow? I do apparently. Now, pillow design on your bed, it really just comes down to your preference. Do you wanna deal with a lot of decorative pillows or do you just wanna be practical and get to sleep quicker? I finally have figured out for me the best pillow arrangement and it's practical but also pretty, but not too fussy. So I'm gonna show you what I do. So I take the two pillows that I actually sleep on and stack those in the back first. And then in front of that, we put these three decorative pillows. So then I just stack these three in front and I do a little karate chop action in the middle. And then in the very front, we put our little decorative pillow. This is my favorite configuration because it looks nice, but it's not super fussy. 
All I have to do is just remove these four in the front, stack them here, and then the pillows are ready to go in the back. Another option, just because we like options here, you can stack your sleeping pillow in the back and then put your decorative ones on top and give it that added height. So this is another option, yet another. You can just put the decorative pillows in the back and then do two rows of your sleeping pillow and another decorative. So this is more of a stacked look. I mean, you could even go bigger than this. I'm keeping it tame. You can have more decorative pillows. You can omit the decorative pillows all together. And the last added touch to make your room like a luxury hotel room is this fragrance oil. It's called Santal, and this is the scent they have in the One Hotels. It is the most expensive, luxurious scent. We have this going in our room and downstairs most of the time now because it just smells incredible. So that would be my last little tip for bringing that luxury hotel experience in to your house. Okay, so those are my easy steps for how to make your bed like a pro, like they do at the hotels, because let me tell you, this is luxury. It feels amazing, so cozy when I get into bed at night. Also, do not forget to hit that red subscribe button if you have not yet already, and go follow me over on Instagram. Again, I am announcing the winner of my $1,000 staycation giveaway on November 15th, on my Instagram stories. So with all that said, thank you again, as always, so much for watching. I really appreciate you, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye. Excuse me, ma'am. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you do can and will be used against you in a court of law. What? What are you talking about? What am I doing? I'm making the bed. Do not play dumb with me. You know exactly what you're doing. What you are doing is a serious crime. That is a class A felony in this state. Can you read, ma'am? Can you read? Can I, can I read? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know, I didn't know. I, I swear to you, I am innocent. I have two kids. I've never committed any crimes. Please let me off. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Does this look like it's my first day on the job? Far from it. I have dedicated my career to hunting criminals like you. Criminals that will deface perfectly innocent pillows across the world. This is an epidemic, ma'am. This is a serious crime, and you need to do serious time. Please, don't take me in. I didn't know. I didn't know. I have two kids. I have a newborn baby. She doesn't even take a bottle. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's go.